Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back with another action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the Vitruvian Hacks blank male figure in Pale Peach. So if you're not aware of these things, so this is uh, from Boss Fight Studios, uh, bossfightshop.com if you want to check them out. Uh, but they do a very cool line of uh, three and three quarter inch or four inch figures, depending on how you want to do the measuring on that. Um, but they have some of these that are just blank figures, um, but they work in really well with like our G.I. Joe scale figures. So that's uh, kind of why I wanted to pick this thing up and take a look at it. It does come in this uh, nice, small, little, plain box. <laughs> uh, but on the back here, it kind of shows you just what's included in it. We've got the standard figure. We've got some additional heads, some additional hands and feet, and a little base stand here. So, uh, yeah, very cool looking. Um, this one is There Are No Limits. They do have these available in uh, a number of different colors here, so pretty much anything you can think of, they've got. Uh, but we did get the the pale peach here, just because that's uh, kind of a standard color for me. And um, so part of what I'm probably going to do with these, uh, so it's, these are great for customizations and things like that, but also great for using for like um, drawing aids and things like that. So anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. It's got a little bit of uh, that tapey stuff on it. So we're just going to slice the tape off and pop this box open. I don't have a lot of these uh, Vitruvian Hacks figures. Um, but I am thinking about maybe getting some more of them. So anyways, this one seemed like a good place to start. So uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So it does come in a nice little poly bag looking thing here. We've got all these cool accessories here and the actual figure itself. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, slice this off and open everything up. <laughs> so bear with me while I cut this open. There we go. And let's just dump everything out here. All the accessories and the figure itself. So very cool looking. Uh, lots of cool stuff here. We got <clears throat> some sandaled feet, a couple of different heads, uh, some bare feet. And I don't know, this is just like normal feet things and uh, the cool little stand here. So uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, Pretty cool looking. Uh, as far as a uh, size comparison goes, um, we've got one of our three and three quarter inch um, 25th anniversary GI Joe figures here. It's a uh, beachhead, so you can kind of see scale wise, uh, it's the same scale, so it fits in really well with this type of figure. Uh, so yeah, very cool looking. So just something to keep in mind is that it does fit in real, real well with that product line. So. Um, uh, let's, I guess, just start here with some of the accessories, and then we'll look at the figure itself. So this is the, uh, and I may have to uh, dim the light here a little bit. I didn't realize that the, the peach color was going to blow out against these white background, but that, that's okay. Uh, so this is Boss Fight Studios. Two foot pegs here. And the copyright here on the back side. Very nice looking though. Um, figure has foot pegs on the bottom here, so you just kind of peg them in place. It stands up pretty well. So yeah, I mean it's you can paint it, do whatever you want to with it, so that is cool. Uh, in case you were wondering. Let's uh, try Beachhead here with the same figure stand. The uh, pegs are just a little bit bigger than uh, G.I. Joe, but you can still manage to uh, get this guy on here pretty easily. May have to bend the feet a little bit, or the legs around a little bit to get it to go exactly, but uh, yeah, it still fits, so it's, again, anything G.I. Joe compatible, should work fine for these guys. 
And I guess technically, why don't we, uh, let's try one of these blank G.I. Joe Cobra figure stands and just uh, see how well this guy works with it as well, just out of curiosity. So it fits on the foot pegs just fine. So, yeah, I mean, no problems whatsoever there. So that's uh, that's cool. So they are very much interchangeable. So that is an awesome thing. Uh, I'm getting back off here now. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it is definitely compatible there. Um, so the rest of these accessories, we've got uh, these sandaled feet. So you can see his toes and some sandals. And, uh, again, same foot peg. Uh, they have just uh, standard pegs in these things, so you take the, the foot itself and just kind of pull on it, and it pops off that little peg system, and you just swap them out fairly easily. Um, these things are kind of small, so I'm a, a little bit worried about them breaking, but uh, so far, it works fine. No problems with that. So we got... Uh, Sandaled foot for the left side and the right side. Uh, then we have these blank feet. So kind of like a superhero costume feet or ninja feet somewhat. Depending on how you want to look at it there. But uh, very nice. Same foot peg system there. So two of those. Then we also have a uh, second set of hands, um, left and right, and I'm not really sure what the difference is on these. Um, they're both open gripped. They look like they're the same. Trying to get this into a frame here. They look like they're the same hands, so... Uh, yeah, I don't really know why those are alternate hands, but, uh, you yeah, know, whatever. You get an extra set of hands. Then we have three of these really cool-looking heads. So the first one here is a masked head. Kind of just like a cloth mask on. Very cool. I, I probably should have got a different color because this is not showing up all that well. Um, then we have this head here, which I don't know if it's, if it's supposed to be a specific person or not. But a very nice level of detail anyways. And then we have another head here with a different haircut. A really cool looking sculpt. So there's that, uh, and it does have that little peg inside it there that will move around on the ball joint and things like that. <clears throat> and then the, the head that's on the figure is just the, the standard bald head. And let's just pop this guy's head off to see how well this works. So once you do that, it's got a standard... Um, ball joint in there so you can swap these out for whichever one you want it's a little bit tricky in that that stupid peg in there does have a tendency to move around a little bit uh, so you may have to kind of position it to get it right and then press in on it there we go uh, but once you get that in place it works pretty well the head is not as easy to pop off as the hands and things like that, so just be aware of that. That one snapped in pretty well, though. So um, as far as the actual figure itself goes, uh, they have a an awesome amount of detail on these figures. Um, really nice muscle, <laughs> muscle, musculature on the figure itself. Very nice looking. And I think they have a couple of different types of figures uh, as far as the body style goes. But uh, very nice detail all the way around. Very cool looking. They do have standard kind of backpack pegs on them. And um, they've got a little screw on these to hold them together. 
interesting anyways. Uh, as far as articulation goes, the head does spin 360 degrees. We get plenty of up and down motion there, side to side, so very nice all the way around for that one. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joint there. We have a standard uh, ball and swivel there at the elbow joint, and looks like a swivel and a up and down rocker on the wrist joint. And maybe that's the actual difference here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So now that we've looked at that, uh, the other one, um, instead of going up and down like this, it goes up and down like this. So the, the hinge joint is right here. So it's a back and forth. So one set that moves like that and one set that moves like that. <laughs> If that makes any sense whatsoever. But uh, Then we also have the standard um, waist twist rocker kind of ab crunch thing there. And uh, really nice movement there. Standard, um, these are plastic T-hooks, but basically the same as any of the rest of those. Uh, it's got a little bit of a gap right there where the it joins, but that's really the only big gap that I see on any of these, but uh, full open front back motion. So very nice there. Then we have uh, a double knee joint there as well. And we have a swivel and the rocker there at the ankle joint. And that is going to be a problem because um, as you can kind of see there, uh, that kind of moves things out and puts a little bit of stress on that joint there. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to be very careful about that particular motion so that you don't damage the figure itself. But uh, beyond that, uh, I mean, it's a cool looking figure here. It's got a lot of really nice detail work in it. Um, it just looks pretty amazing to me. Nice posability. All around a very cool looking figure and I am really impressed with these things. Again, it comes in a variety of colors. You can kind of mix and match however you would like to. Uh, Boss Fight Studios are the... They did some sculpting for the uh, G.I. Joe 25th Anniversary line. So they kind of know what they're doing as far as these figures go. Oh, and I think I missed the waist twist. Now there's a a waist line right there at the waist and it's a little tight but it does turn so yeah that's an extra point of articulation I didn't catch before so uh, yeah that is pretty awesome here so I am uh, uh, really impressed with these things this is a cool looking figure here to be honest with you so um, these things run about uh, 15 bucks for the blank figure. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of different ones that you can look at and things like that. So uh, you should definitely go check them out. Um, I really like this thing. I think it has a lot of good potential here. So, yeah, I mean, it's a cool figure. Well, that's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think of these Vitruvian hacks. The basic figures. Uh, blank male figure, I guess, is the official name of this one. Uh, if you've uh, got some of these laying around, you know, which ones do you like the best? Which ones do you recommend? Do you have any tips or tricks uh, for whatever for these things? Um, they're very good for painting and things like that, so it's it's a really good thing for customizers especially so you should definitely go check these guys out but anyways leave some comments down below let us know what you think about these things uh, if you'd like to see anything specific in future episodes let me know that and uh, i'll do my best to get it out in front of y'all um, if you haven't already feel free to subscribe to the channel share it with people uh whatever like subscribe all that good stuff um 
And until next time, I guess that's it. So until next time.